Hey, what is up everybody? So we have some injury updates for the Packers as well as a few different guys who tried out today for the Packers, including a QB, a couple wide receivers as well. Um, so I'm going to break all that down in this video here today. But if you guys are new and you have yet to subscribe, you want to see Packers content, Packers news, that's all that comes out on this channel. So feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. So first off, what we have here today, of course, Jordan Love injured his throwing shoulder in the game on Saturday versus the Texans. Uh, a guy got beat, beat the tackle outside, comes in, smacks Jordan Love's arm, ball flies out, flies out, fumble. You guys probably saw that play. He injured his arm there, his shoulder, um, but it didn't seem to be too bad of an issue. Adam Schefter, you know, tweeted yesterday the MRI was clean, and so the Packers are just being a little bit cautious. So they did sit Jordan Love from today's practice just to be careful. But Matt Lafleur did say that he is looking or feeling a lot better than he did, you know, after the game on Saturday. So that is good news for Jordan Love. It doesn't seem to be too serious of an injury, but there still is a possibility that he doesn't play on Saturday, which is unfortunate for Jordan Love, considering he's only going to have this preseason to preseason, you know, to develop and you know have some live playing, you know, live football here. Because of course, when the season starts, Aaron Rodgers will be in there every snap. So I definitely think every preseason game for Jordan Love is important. So hopefully he can be ready for this game coming up on Saturday versus the New York Jets. Um, it did come out. The Packers are actually trying out a QB, or they did try out a QB today. Came out here about 30 minutes ago from Rob Domofsky. He said the Packers worked out one QB today. Quentin Dormady, most recently at Central Michigan in 2019 and Tennessee before that. Also in today were a pair of wide receivers. Damon, Hazleton, Missouri, and Darvin, Kidsey, Texas Southern. So if Jordan Love isn't able to go on Saturday, the Packers will probably need to have another quarterback besides Kurt Benkert because with Aaron Rodgers most likely not playing in the preseason, it only leaves one guy in Kurt Benkert. So the Packers definitely need some more depth there for Aaron Rodgers, or not Aaron Rodgers, if Jordan Love is not ready to go. So maybe they bring this guy in, Quentin Dormady if Jordan Love isn't able to go. Um, and then if we move on to some injury updates, Zadarius Smith and Will Redmond were both activated off of the non-football injury list and participated in practice today. So that's good news to see Zadarius Smith back considering he hasn't you know, been off that injury list for the first couple weeks of training camp. So luckily he is back now. And then moving on to a couple other guys, Aaron Jones was back at practice today. Of course, he was dealing with a hamstring injury, didn't play in the preseason game, but he was back at practice today, as well as Kenny Clark, who has been dealing with a groin injury. He also returned to practice today. And then another guy, we got Equinemius St. Brown, who's been dealing with a hamstring injury, also returned to practice as well as Rashawn Gary has been dealing with a groin injury. He practiced a little today and then apparently went back into the indoor practice facility. So hopefully he can heal up. But it is good news to see Aaron Jones back, obviously, in Saturday's preseason game. Um, A.J. Dillon played a little bit, but it was mainly, you know, Kylan Hill, um, Patrick Taylor, as well as Dexter Williams. So I don't think the Packers need to rush Aaron Jones back. I think probably all of us Packers fans will be fine if he just sort of chills out and saves himself for the actual season. There's no need to injure, you know, have Aaron Jones be injured when we just paid him. So hopefully they'll keep it, you know, sort of move slowly with Aaron Jones, which I'm guessing they will do probably. Um, that's my that's my guess with Aaron Jones, but it is good that he was back today. And then finally here, sort of the last bit of news for today, the Packers did cut two players. It came out here from Ryan Wood. Packers make official. They have released offensive lineman John Dietzen and punter Ryan Winslow as their cut down to 85 players gets underway. They need to release three more players by 3 p.m. tomorrow. So, of course, with tomorrow being the deadline, to move from 90 players to 85 players, the Packers are starting to cut a couple guys, punter and offensive lineman, and they still have three guys to cut. So, by tomorrow at 3 p.m., three other Packers players will be cut from this roster, slowly getting us to the final 53-man roster, you know, when the season actually does start. But that's all the news that really happened today when it comes to injuries, the tryouts, and then those few guys who were released um, you know, today for the Green Bay Packers. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys want to see more Packers content, Packers news, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, I cover mainly Packers news on this channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.